Hi, so in this video, we'll talk about how to do loops in Mari. But before we talk about loops, we need to learn two new instructions, which are the jump instruction and the skip count instruction. We will talk about the jump instruction first. So let's learn the jump instruction through some codes. Imagine you want to prompt the user for a number, and we want to add it by one and output the result. So this can be divided into three steps, right? The first step, we want to prompt the user for a number. So we just use input, and then we want to store it somewhere. So we'll store it in a num label. We have to also create a num label below. After we store the, after the user input the number, we want to add it by one, right? So we will load the number and add it by 1. We also need to declare a decimal 1 below. And the last step is to... Oh, for this one, we also need to store it back, just in case. For the last instruction, we want to output it, right? So we'll load the number again and output. And this is where the jump instruction is useful. So for the first instruction, we want to jump to the second instruction. I just click type jump second and for the second one we want to jump to the third instruction and also we need to end the always end the program right so we have a end label with just a hold instruction to end the program after we execute the last instruction last step we will just jump to the end why do we need to include a jump here because uh, for example if we one, if you make the second label below the third label, if we didn't include the jump instruction, all of this will be messed up, right? But it will be okay if you include the jump instruction. And this is basically the use of the jump instruction. So we will basically jump to, um, we create different labels. You use jump to jump between labels. So let's try to execute this program. We will input a number like 4. Yeah, I output the 5. A decimal 5 because we have a 4. The user input 4 and we add it by 1 and output. So there will be 5. Even though the third instruction is above the second instruction, but it doesn't affect because we, have, we are using the jump instruction. Next, we will talk about the skip count instruction. The skip, count, the skip count instruction basically means it will skip the next instruction if it meets a requirement. It meets a condition, yeah. So there are three types of skip count condition. Skip count 000, skip count 400, and skip count x00. For skip count 000, it means that it will skip the next instruction if the AC value is less than 0. And for, for 400, it will skip the next instruction if the AC value is equal to zero. And I think you can also guess for the X001, it will skip the next instruction if the AC is more than zero. So we will now see why this is very useful. And here we want to check if we'll let the user input a number. And we want to check if the number is between one and zero. So first we'll ask the user to input a number, right? And we'll also store it in a num label. Then we want to check if it's below 1 to 10. Checking between 1 to 10, basically, you want to check if the number is more than 1 and also less than 10, right? So we create a check over 1 label and a check less than 10 label. We need a 1 and a 10 here. It's okay if you don't understand why we need this tool. We'll explain it later. Let's work on the check over one label here. So first you want to check if the input value is more than one. We will first load the number and subtract it by one. Then we can already know if the number is more than or equal to one. Imagine you have three types of conditions. So if the number is equal to one, and when the number is equal to 9, probably, and when the number is 
less than one, which is negative two. Oops. So if you subtract this number by one, this will become zero, right? And this will become eight. And the last one will become negative three. You said for this one, it will be. They are basically more than or equal to zero, but for this one, it's a negative value. And if it's a negative value or less than one, we want to just end the program and not output it. So we have a skip con here. Since we are on a check, we are checking this right. So we have a zero zero zero. Usually the skip will be followed by two jump instruction. If the number is less than one, which means the AC will become negative, right? So we'll skip the next instruction if the AC is negative. We just give this instruction and jump ahead to N. But however, if the number is not less than zero, it means the number is within is more than one, more than or equal to one, right? So we just jump to check less than ten. Because it already satisfied this con this condition. Okay. Oh, we just create a N label here. For check less than ten, it's quite similar to this one, but this time it's a bit different. We want to load the number ten first and subtract it, subtract the number. Why? Let's see the different condition. If the number is ten, and when the number is eleven, and when the number is nine, probably. When the number is 10, we use this 10 subtract the number, it will become 0. And we load the number 10 and subtract it by 11, this will become negative 1 and this will become 1, right? For this case, it's quite similar. So if it's more than 10, the, num the AC value will become negative, right? So it's exactly the same. We we'll use skip count 0, 0, 0, followed by 2 jump. So if the AC is negative, which means that the number is more than 10, we will just end the program and not output the result. So we will jump in here. However, if it meets the instruction, so this, uh, for this two, if the number is 0 or 1, right, this will not skip the instruction, so we will just jump to output. output it's just loading the number and output it and that's it you can use this program to check if the number is between 1 to 10 so let's check I'll input a number 3 is between 1 to 10 right so the it should output the number 3 so if the number is like negative 3 nothing will be output if the number is 12, nothing will also happen. So this is the program. Now because we want to learn loops, we will combine the jump and skip code instruction to create a loop. So for this loop, we want to probably output, ask the user to input a number, you want to output a number for 10 times probably. So the user will input a number, I want to store it in a num label. This will be the start program. Or you can also call it loop. I think it's better to call it loops. Yeah. So you will you want to uh output the number ten times, right? So the loop times will be decimal ten and also need a one here because every time we need to subtract the loop times by one. You will see why we need that later. So for the loop, we will first load the number and output it. Then this is the part where we can do loops. So when we loop the loop times, every time subtract it by one because it already output the number for once, right? Then we're now going to subtract, subtract by one, 
and restore it back to the loop times. So during the first first loop, you already output once, right? So the ten will become nine after this three instructions. Next, we want to have a skip count because you want to stop when this loop time reaches zero, right? So if it reaches zero, the AC also becomes zero. So we need skip count four zero zero, followed by two jump. This skip count four zero zero means that it would jump the skip the next instruction if the AC is equal to zero. So if the AC is equal to zero, it means that we want to stop the loop. We can just go ahead and jump to end here. However, if it's not if it's not zero, it means that we still need to loop again. So we'll jump back to the loop again and repeat the process. So for example, we want to output the number five or ten times, right? It's a bit hard to check here. Let's change the number to three. See, we have we are outputting the number by three times. And that's all for loops. Thank you for watching this video and for the next video we will talk about the subroutine and this topic usually struggle people a lot but don't worry it's actually quite easy after you get them so see you in the next video